Okay, Debbie, you got this. Okay, so, um, let me look at these again. If you can get this off, Kurt, but you're, you're l let me do it. I know how that hurts your head. Yeah, I, yeah. no, I wasn't actually doing that. I was just trying, I was just trying to sound out. <laughs> okay, Twin Peaks reference. Ritual of days, the coming forth by day, a focusing of light upon darkness, the priesthood of Amun driven underground by Atonists, enacts these rituals in secret. Why here? Focusing of light. I hate it when you have someone's notes, they like clearly had a thought in between but didn't write it down. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like they make the notes for themselves, you know, they're just filling in... Yeah. So yes, why here indeed? Why not here? Well, because I mean, this place, there's obviously something special about it because that goddamn sun! Yeah. The sun too big for this goddamn Egypt. I'm so glad I'm in the shade right now. Oh, what's this thing? Did, did nothing happen? Oh. There's a light over there. Oh. Is it pointing something? And no, no, it just sort of stops. Wait, that's, there's a, that's a weird laser. There's a lot of crystals around here. There are a lot of crystals. Oh, this is going to be one of those things. Oh, yeah, I gotta line the light to get the... to get the... It all to the place and... Alright. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Hang on, let me... I just have to shift this a little? There we go. There we go. But that's not working. Why does the uh, laser have a maximum range? That's... Magic. <sighs> Magic's interfering with perfectly good science fiction. Okay. Alright. And now I just gotta go over here. It was kind of weird when you stepped to the beam, like... Yeah. You ever stood too close to the radio tower? Um... Actually, yeah, one, t yeah, one time I needed to hack in to the Council of Venice, and I just, like, made a hammock in a radio tower to try and get the signal boost. Did you ever get that... Did you get that weird feeling, like... It was all the time. Just tingling yeah. everywhere. That's how it feels. But that's, a. Uh... Okay, this is not going anywhere. Maybe try the other side. Yeah, maybe I'll... Um, maybe I could... I could no, that's the only way I can reach. Oh, right, gotta start over. Uh, Here, let me try something. I'm gonna... Okay, get... Yeah, calculate the angles while I'll... Just, I'll you calculate the angles or whatever yeah. while I do a trial and error. Alright. We'll see if it gets it done faster. I mean, probably you. This thing... This, this program is not very smart. Okay. Okay. And this... This isn't the right one. Ah, this isn't the right one. Nope. Maybe just like break it off and move it. I I don't know if that would break that that seems like a bad idea. Mm. I don't really know how these things work. It doesn't really make sense that they'd be checking that, but so they might be they might be like third age artifacts. 
Whatever that means. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you meddle with that one, you, you might, like, get someone killed. Or just break it, you know? Or that, yeah. I mean, they are... I mean, can we... Can we rebuild third age artifacts? I don't. I don't know if we can. No, no, we cannot. I don't think we can understand the science behind them. I mean, look at look at these lasers here. What if anything explains yeah. this? I mean, is it magic or is it science or is it just like? Is there much of a difference with third age tech? We don't even know. Alright. I'm getting somewhere. I am getting nowhere. They, you think they would line up, but they're just like slightly off, you know? Well, they really wanted to keep everyone out of there, so, you know, of course they used a puzzle from the Zelda game. Well, if you think about it, this gives them plenty of time to get out. That's very true. Like, this is, I don't think this is like so much a deterrent as it is a stalling mechanism. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Oh, it was... It was all hidden. any sort of arcane symbol or is it just random hmm well that right there that kind of looks like a room but it's a Norse room so probably not the intended message okay I don't know what do I look at from above yeah nothing we go a bit higher. Can you jump up? Um, no. No, I can't. Your jumping powers have failed you. Right, that, that'd be too easy, though. I mean, if they just made their runes spell out fuck off an ancient Egyptian. You know, I just realized. Egyptians carved curves into rock. Well, Norse just the Norse just carved straight lines. Hmm. They did. I don't think that means anything. It's just interesting. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's just you know a matter of aesthetics. All right, that's why is it. Oh, this must be later graffiti. Oh, fucking Adenists. Have to ruin everything. Yeah, but it's historical graffiti. Ah, uh, like the ones... The ones showing the, um... The female pharaoh, uh... Hatepshut. Using a strap-on? Yeah. I wish I had a pun for that, but, but I, I don't. More, more gibberish. Caesar cipher. Yes. Same thing. Let me get. Yeah, basically yes. Um, hang on a second. It's still fun. It's still it's still stuck on the on the laser puzzle. This damn thing. I thought you said you could read this without a translator. Mm. Oh yeah, I did say that. 
it's uh -huh. certainly a Must thing. Must be making that up. You can't prove that. Ritual of Lineage. A prayer before royalty. Crude depictions of Akhenaten. These were not made to honor him. Honor with a U. Consider the names. Akhenaten's name erased after death. But that was not his name. A prayer to truth. Um, what? It's basically... Um... You know, Akhenaten changed his name to basically mean... A, you know, to basically, like, every time someone said it, they were praying to Aten. They were praising ah. him. So by erasing his name, they erase him from the history, and they erase the worship of Aten. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I, I never really quite understood why they did that. Oh, yeah. But, uh, okay, so... Uh, yeah. Leaf, Mario level, house on it, plane... Oh, I, uh, oh, you saw a house? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Flag, crook, and... Dabbing? No, I think that's... I think that's like, a, like praise the sun. Uh, no, no, that's that's just... That's, that's like a V shape. Yeah, well, no, this is... Like, this, that's, that's off to one side, yeah, this is, well, I think. This is like praise the sun in profile. With a beard that on. perspective is weird on hieroglyphics. Yeah. But anyway, what does this say? Let me see here. Uh, I have all his names. That is... Menhotep Nitjaheka Waset. I'm not going to do that accent ever again. I That was a, that was a mistake. Test to your best. That was a Menhotep okay, so. God Ruler of Thebes. But that that was his... Uh, that was his That was his real name. What's this? Uh, which is Kao M. Yunu Shime, crowned in Heliopolis of the South. Okay. Uh, Kankat Khai. Yes, I'll die! Shuti. Yeah. <laughs> what are the. What are the two fingers for? Well, I can tell ya. Oh! 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 Strong Bull of the Double Plumes. Oh, okay, that's... That's what they called it back then? Yeah. Well, that's... <laughs> that's actually a type of crown. But, yeah. Meriaten. Strong... Okay, now that's a tit. Yeah, that is a tit. And that's a very pointy dick. The what does it say again? Mariaten, strong bull, beloved of Aten. I'm, I think Aten might be involved in that. You think? Yeah. That is Witches Ren en Aten, exalter of the name of Aten. So I think Aten. Wait. I th yeah, I think. I th that tit means Aten. The tit means Aten, yes. Okay. Tit, it's, it's bull. T Bull tinfoil tit. Bull tin. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's odd. Yep, so, that's that, I, that so, one was just straight up Akhenaten. What do I? So what does it ask, want me to do here? Let me see here. Uh, prayer. Crude depictions of Akhenaten, but not made to honor him. Not his true name. Okay. Um. Maybe I think you have to pray for the ones that don't praise Aten. Okay, so don't praise the sun. Right. Oh, hey, you're good. Uh, see, don't pr don't praise the booby. Got to hang it later. Yeah, me too. Were you, kinda, did you act? Did you just praise the sun there? I did. Uh, let's see. All right, what's this? Oh, go secret passage. 
How did I know that was there? Well, I mean, where else would it be? Uh, okay. I guess if these go here. I'm pretty sure this is how Yu-Gi-Oh start. What, what the fuck? What is its face? Is that a mask or is that its face? It looks like like bug parts. Like it's got a bug mouth parts. I can't understand it. What even is this thing? What a hologram projector? What this is? Help me, Atom Run Kenobi. You're my only hope. I. This isn't Egyptian. This. I think this is Third Age. Wow. Oh, I hate when I enter one area like this. Ah. Apparently I left and didn't notice. Seriously, it's like my soul's getting punched. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm reading all kinds of distortion on your B here. More than normal? Yeah. I've been trying to monitor its vitals for a while. Like, there's, there's like, internal distortion? This is definitely an external distortion. Yeah, whenever I walk into an area like this, like, um, let's see. There was that swamp in, um, Savage Coast. Um, there was, oh, the, the casino in Blue Mountain. Mm. Uh, that North Coast in, um, Kingsmouth. It's weird though, it's like... But those areas, those, those dangerous yeah. areas. You know, it's weird though, when you get into an area like that, it's almost like it's... Do you, do you experience headaches when you get in there? <sighs> no, it feels more like... Honestly, it feels like I just got... My soul just got punched in the vag. That's, that's a very descriptive image. Hmm. Well, it might not be a physical headache. I don't really know if the bee inhabits the same physical space as you, or if it's some kind of, like, weird out-of-phase thing, or if it's, like, a yerk, or... I don't know. The point is, I think when that happens, it's almost like your bee is trying to get out. Interesting. Like, why would my bee be trying to get out? I mean, I can't I can't survive without me, right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe somehow it like can't survive inside you. That's what I'm. That's something I'm afraid of. I'm sure we'll fix it. I'm sure we'll figure out a way to get your bee safe. I hope so. It's been. It's yeah. It's it's hard to sleep. That's why I was using those drugs for a while. And it's fascinating stuff. You could do a lecture tour off this. Really, you're putting us to shame. Not that we're strangers to scandalizing the academic community. Oh, you. <laughs> this does fit Aww. with the big terrible they're picture so theory. I you know how them. I feel about that name. It's only a theory, Monty. Sorry, the BTP posits that we, the collective we, mankind, have forgotten more than we ever learned. For centuries, man has discovered objects much older than recorded history. Not even the immortals still understand how these antiquities are operated, their purpose, how they are manufactured. They become the stuff of myth and legend. The work of deities My and caliber. Mm -hmm. Our civilization never seems to stray far from these things. That is that why we can dig up a trouble. city underneath every city. We're creatures of habit. Repeat offenders. You may be thinking, where does the terrible come in? If this theory holds, something must keep throwing out the toy set every time we finish building it. Leaving us to spend an eon uh, finding all the pieces and putting it back together. Ugh. 
scrabbling in the dust for answers. And instead, finding more questions. Wow. So... For a moment there, I took you for a fond mirage. You know, it just kind of occurred to me, I mean, you know, it might seem obvious, but... The Third Age means they're... We're previous ones. Oh, yeah. Like, this is something that keeps happening. It also means that if we're the Fourth Age, we might not be the last. I don't know if that's comforting or not. I mean, that would mean that whatever happened may happen again. Yeah. As possibly by seeing the unfortunately... Oh. Of course, he named it that. <laughs> he, he the is big terrible picture theory queen. gates create us with each new find. Name aside, <laughs> he really doesn't like that. <laughs> Oh, is this theory so outlandish? I, lo I love them and want to protect them. Our work... We are a cult archaeologist. Our work has always been a matter of rediscovery, not purely discovery. Our ancestors selected the Cradle of Civilization for a variety of reasons, but it seems increasingly likely that one uniting factor was nostalgia. They came to these places searching for a memory that perhaps they could not even place. Oh, I know how that feels. Mm-hmm. They found the evidence of their forebears reduced to little more than scrap metal and chicken scratches, and took up what they could. From these salvages, they taught themselves great advancements, tremendous advancements, at a rate greater than is ever recorded before. We are propelled to modernity, modernity from these forgotten peaks of prehistorical man. Perhaps we have advanced further than they did in even shorter a space of time, but what do we accelerate towards if we do not share their beginnings? Shall we share their end? That's cheerful. Here's a big terrible picture for you. You being responsible for the world ending and me getting to you before it does. Were there ages before I was sure? Do I need you to wrap your head around that? No. The priesthood of a moon went to great lengths to keep certain sites and artifacts from Akhenaten and his followers. The ancient origins of these relics are mind-fucking. Unfortunately, they require history lessons that's totally beyond my PowerPoint. Bottom line, the priests believe that the current age could end with Aten. Given recent reports surfacing from the valley, it's tough to disagree. Ciao, ciao. That's reassuring. Very. You know, that's what she just gives. Just always so reassuring. She is. Just, she's just a light that brightens our whole day. Every time she enters it. <laughs> 